Hello everyone, this is a walkthrough on Cantabile's new MIDI monitoring features. Uh, the MIDI monitor has been probably one of the most neglected features in Cantabile for a long time and it's finally had a, an update and it's been a pretty much a major revamp. So in case you're not familiar, the MIDI monitor is just a, a window that pops up and lets you see MIDI events as they pass through the system. And the first big change is that you can now bring up a MIDI monitor just about anywhere. Before they were limited to, I think, the plugin and, and I think routes you could view the monitor, mini monitors, but you can now get them pretty much anywhere. So even on media players, so you'll see there's this MIDI monitor and it will show MIDI out. Uh, same on racks, uh, MIDI monitor, so you can see the in and out. If you were to add more ports to this, for example, so as to add a couple of, and an output one have as many ports as you like on a rack so you can now bring up the MIDI monitor for any of those um, similarly for a route you can bring up a MIDI monitor directly on the route and I'll go into a li little bit more detail about exactly what that's monitoring in a second um, and you can also get to the environment ports so from here you can get to your environment ports here you can also get to them from here so for example MIDI monitor if if there's an input and an output port with the same name you'll see it shows up both of them. Okay, so just about anything now, you can bring up the MIDI monitor. This command up here is also updated to show these commands. Okay, so if I was to bring up that one. And because a lot of people got confused by the disabled command there when nothing appropriate was selected, it will now show no suitable object this is selected. Okay, so to have a look at the actual MIDI monitor now, um, you'll see that it's been uh, completely rewritten and completely new look. The first thing you'll see is this here is similar to the old log window. Um, on the side here is going to show channel states which we'll see in a minute and there's a keyboard at the bottom to show any held notes. So if I was to just play a simple note you see it's logged here. We see that it's showing here that it's held and there's also this held indicator here which will disappear once it's been released. So if I release that note now you see that's gone, that's gone. Okay, the channel states here show the current state of any controllers that have been received. So if I, for example, send CC19, you'll see the event there and you'll see the most recently received value. So you can see as I press and release that, you can see it showing 127.0. And as new controllers are detected, they get added to this list. So if I do controller 20 now, you'll see that gets added. Okay. The next thing I want to show is um, some functionality in here. Let me just quickly just play some data to get some more realistic data in here. Okay, so first of all, uh, for controllers you can choose select similar events. This actually works for any non-note event. And what it will do is it will select all the matching events. And with notes, you can choose select related events and it will find the matching note off event and any aftertouch events in between. Okay. Similarly over here, you can say select events and it will find all matching events for that controller. Okay. Now controller zero is currently filtered out. So it's saying, do you want to turn off filtering to show them? So I'll say yes. And you can see all those there. Okay. Now the other thing that this window now shows is what's called decode, decoded events. So some events um, have special meaning. For example, NRPN messages are sent through on four different controllers. So if I was to move this, you can see it's showing the raw controller data and the decoded values here, which is the NRPN. Similar for SysX data. You can see there's the SysX event, the raw MIDI event, and there's the decoded event. So the dec decoded events are shown in a lighter gray. These are the pure MIDI messages. Okay, now you can control exactly what's what's shown and what's not in this new settings panel here. So you can choose which channels. You can enable filtering and then choose which events are shown. So these are the raw MIDI events. These are the de decoded events. For controllers, you can say to show these controllers and you can put in a list of which ones you want or you can say to show all controllers except for these ones. Now these are the default settings and they're hiding things like uh, banked program changes, um, these 
in our PN uh, controllers that I was showing before and the same for the phone controllers it's it's blocked out a couple of these here you can choose which decoded events and then there's a couple of options here for instance you can turn the keyboard off and the channel state panel window if you want so you get just the log or you can show whatever parts of that you need okay and then finally down here you can say to save these settings at this default so by default normally when you just hit OK it applies to this window and this window only but if you turn this on it will remember all these settings for any future MIDI model monitor windows that you open okay um, one final thing is for objects that have um, MIDI filters you can now choose whether you want to view the log before or after the filter so that can be handy if you're trying to diagnose what's wrong with the filter why it's not getting the data that you want you can see the incoming data to the filter and the outgoing and then regarding routes I had some requests for the ability to view uh, the MIDI data coming into the route and the MIDI data being sent out of the route I haven't actually implemented that uh, as yet I'm not sure whether I will you can you can currently do pre MIDI filter and post MIDI filter and what that means so post MIDI filter is the data that it's sending out pre MIDI filter will be after this part of the route has been applied but before the MIDI filter these are actually kind of drawn back to front because this is applied first and then then the MIDI filter so you can get either after this or after the filter if you want the actual incoming data to the route it's easy enough to just go to the input ports and choose the port that's driving it so if you choose on screen keyboard here that would be the equivalent to viewing the inc incoming data to this route okay um, I think that's about it okay this is all available now in build 3566 which will be up as we speak thanks guys bye